Path of Hope with Mary, a novena in preparation for the Feast of the Assumption. The faith I love best, says God, is hope. This perspective of Charles Piggy aptly describes the path of the Virgin who said yes, relying on him, God, for whom nothing is impossible. The journey of Mary, the poor, the contemplative, the woman for others, is first presented through her mystery of hope in the various stages of her journey, from the Annunciation to Pentecost and up to the glorious Assumption, when definitively configured to Christ, she becomes a sign of hope and consolation for the people of God on the move. For hope is an active virtue. It does not cultivate illusion. It points towards what is definite, towards the possession of the new heaven and the new earth, where justice will dwell. At the same time, it invites us to commit ourselves here and now to building a more just world a civilization of love. Hence, the interest of the pages on Christian commitment with the poor. On this journey of hope, Mary goes before the traveler and teaches him to fix his heart where the true joys are. First day, fidelity. Mary's path of hope opens with the Annunciation. It is a simple narrative, but it divides history. Here we see the fidelity of God, the fidelity of Jesus, and the fidelity of Mary. A fidelity explained in three words by the angel to Mary. Rejoice, fear not. Nothing is impossible for God. Fidelity is a central attitude of this first stage of Mary's path of hope. In reality, it is the first and essential attitude of the whole life of Our Lady. Everything started at the moment when she said yes to God. It is a radical and definitive yes, but in the obscure light of faith, it is also in faith that she accomplished her journey. This makes her yes closer to the exigencies and limits of our own yes. 
it was sufficient for her to rely on a triple security. God loved her with predilection. God asked for this consent. For God, nothing is impossible. Mary's fidelity is lived in poverty, trust, and availability. Let us ask Mary for the grace to constantly place with confidence our fidelity on God's fidelity. Hello everyone, I am Mai Houston Sarongon, a teacher for children with disabilities, an alumna of high school batch 1989 and college batch 1993. I am also a member of the Associate Missionaries of the Assumption or AMA batch 7. Choosing God has never been easy. Inner struggles have become more real than ever when I decided to fully side with God three years ago. An unfortunate event paved the way for me to join a prayer group composed of some of my high school batchmates and our former religion teacher, Mrs. Marilyn Grambillo, or Tita Len, to us. The weekly prayer sessions led me to my inner healing from a deep hurt that imprisoned me in hatred, bitterness, and anger for years. I thought I was done with this issue and I could bask in the glory of resurrection. But I was wrong. I have been wrong. Because the more I say yes to God, the more I am tempted and fall into sin. On learning the habit of being unmindful with my thoughts, words, and actions has been an arduous, exhausting, fearful, painful, and discouraging process. But I am not giving up because I am reminded of our Blessed Mother's fidelity. Mama Mary's fidelity allowed her to transcend all kinds of sufferings, both imaginable and unimaginable, and to lovingly respond and obey God. No questions asked, no excuses made, no second thoughts. Mama Mary's fidelity, her faithfulness, led her to lovingly obey God in fulfilling his mission on earth to her. Therefore, when it is easier for me to be a mediocre in my Catholic faith, Mama Mary's faithfulness inspires me to be courageous and persevering in choosing her son's ways. When my past haunts me, Mama Mary's faithfulness assures me that God's love, mercy, and compassion surpass my sinfulness. When I slack off in my duties at home and in work, and in other roles I have in my life, Mama Mary's faithfulness reminds me to do anything and everything with love. When I, became, when I become impatient on the road and easily resort to road rage, Mama Mary's faithfulness tells me to be patient, calm, and pray for the other driver. When I take for granted my loved ones and fail to acknowledge their support and concern all these years, Mama Mary's faithfulness directs me to, re to respond and not to react towards my family. When I am jealous or indifferent to the success and or happiness of other people, Mama Mary's faithfulness leads me to pray for a joyful heart for others. When I feel self-entitled, Mama Mary's faithfulness helps me to be humble. Our Blessed Mother's fidelity has shown me the path leading to our Father. I see that her fidelity is in fact a reflection of God's unwavering fidelity to me, to all of us. His fidelity has been steadfast in all moments of my life. God has never given up on me, so why should I give up on God? To end my sharing, I recall a few stanzas in the song entitled, Mary, written by Vicky Salvador, an alumna too. I quote, From you we learn then to dare and let go, to give ourselves that in turn we may grow. Faithful and true, just like you we will be, and give our yes as he wills it. End of quote. May our Blessed Mother's fidelity ignite and move our hearts for Jesus alone and for the fulfillment of God's plan in our lives. 
Thank you for listening. God bless us all. pray. Lord, our God, we give you thanks for the mystery of the Annunciation. Our hearts have been enlightened through the angel's message and Mary's total trust. May the good news of your salvation be announced to all, and may it be received with faith and gratitude. Through Christ, our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.